So hi everyone, I'm Amrita from Virgin Tech. Uh, my advisor is Bistra Dilkina, and today I'll be presenting work done in collaboration with people here at Cornell and also at um, the U.S. Geological Survey and also at UMass Amherst. Um, so we're working on the reserve site selection problem and we're guided by the two ideas, the two main ideas that in order to successfully conserve a population, we want to first conserve an adequate number of individuals and secondly, ensure that those individuals can traverse the landscape that we're conserving um, in order to disperse, to forage, to find breeding opportunities. And typically these two goals are treated separately. Um, so we are using spatial capture recapture models as a basis for deriving various uh, objective functions to treat these uh, objectives separately and also to combine them in a third measure, um, which I'll be introducing. Uh, so the first measure is realized density, which really focuses on maximizing the number of individuals that are conserved in the reserve um, that we protect. The second is potential connectivity, which maximizes the connectivity of just the, the landscape that we're conserving, assuming that there's a uniform density of individuals, which is of course not true. So the third measure that we're looking at is density weighted connectivity, which tends to prioritize the conservation of um, individuals at home ranges with high density. So there's a lot of individuals and those areas also have um, good connectivity. So we formulate a linear program, program to solve this problem. And we're, our main goals are to try to look at the, the, to contrast the types of reserves that we get. Um, I'd like to just highlight uh, one interesting result that we get. Uh, the first, the, the first result you see on the left hand side is the optimization of just the realized density, so the number of individuals that we're protecting. Um, and we see that we get about 42 individuals in this particular case. We're working with a data set um, based on black bears. Um, and then in the potential connectivity case, we see that we have uh, a rather different looking landscape. And in the third case, density weighted connectivity, um, we see that we get a similar number of individuals compared to realized density and also a similar degree of connectivity. So this highlights that this density weighted connectivity, connectivity measure doesn't compromise too much on either of the first two objectives. So by combining these two, we, we get a much cleaner way to optimize the reserve design problem. Um, please come by to the poster. I have a session this afternoon, um, but now I think everyone's pretty ready for ice cream, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs>